Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced changes today to the troubled Department of Workforce Solutions. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live at the department's building in Albuquerque with details. Annalisa. Dean, over the course of the pandemic, one of the biggest problems the department faced was people not being able to get through to the department and its call center to ask for help with unemployment. But it shouldn't be the status quo anywhere. And I refuse to let it be the status quo anywhere in state government. The state announced today the hiring of 110 new employees for the call center, with about 50 of them already trained. They say this will allow the call center to answer about 7,000 calls a day. It's been seeing an average about 6,000. This state is also creating a multi-agency fraud specialist team to enhance unemployment fraud investigations. The governor has told care or er, an LFC report rather estimates about $133 million of $250 million in overpayments is related to fraudulent claims. The state has also contracted with a firm to do a three to six month independent analysis of how the department is working. But there are obviously some systemic problems that are not related to a particular person or a particular aspect of the agency, but systemically, how do we make sure that the agency can be resilient from an average non-pandemic year to hopefully never again a pandemic year. Over the course of the pandemic, the state has given out $3.7 billion to New Mexicans needing unemployment benefits. As of yesterday, 77,000 New Mexicans were receiving unemployment benefits, and that's down from about 150,000 from this time last year. Back to you. All right, Annalisa, thank you. Republicans are speaking out against the governor's announcement today. The Republican Party of New Mexico calling her efforts, quote, too little, too late.